Right, there's absolutely tons of different coated braids out there these days. Can often get a bit confusing as to what's what. So we're going to take a look at Christon, the original company to produce coated braids. So let's have a little look at the history of them. <laughs> the first one they produced was snakeskin. And it was a completely revolutionary product at the time. In fact, it still is because there's no one else that produces anything like it. And that is basically a coated multi-strand. Multi-strand is, as it says on the tin, lots of different strands of very fine fibres. It was something that a lot of anglers used to use in the past, um, but before the coatings come about. So they'd make up their own sort of multi-strand hook links, various different fine monos. Um, the trouble with them is they tended to tangle like mad. So this completely got over that problem. What you find is that these fibres separate and because they're so thin, they just pretty much disappear. And the other thing is because they're so soft, you can hardly feel them too. So excellent product that. Um, it's caught numerous amounts of fish over the years and like I say, it's still a very unique product. The next coated braid they produced was Snake Bite. Now this is basically a very similar coating to the snake skin, that nice tough green coating, um, but on the inside, okay, uh, you've got a nice tightly woven braid. This one is really, really robust. Um, to be honest with you, they all are though. I mean, one thing that Christen have looked into with his coatings. Um, they found that you know if you put one coating on there, chances are you have a fish. It tightens up and it splits on the knot. And then obviously the whole reason for a uh, coated hook link is that you've got a stiffer section and then a supple section. So if you've if you're not split here and it's creating a hinge section, then you know it's completely defeating the object of it. So what they found is that if they kept applying more layers over a real slow process, it made a much tougher coating. Um, you know, and people say, oh, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a little bit tricky to remove. We want it to be. The whole idea of a coated hook link is that that coating is protecting the inner, as well as obviously offering you that stiffer section to uh, minimise any tangles. Now that's the green version, but snake bite gold, a bit of a golden version. <laughs> Um, you know, it's a, a nice sort of light brown colour, brilliant for fishing over, you know, sand or gravel or anything like that. Same as the other one, really tough, nice tight weave on the uh, inner braid. Next one that Chrysan produced was the Super Mantis. Now this one's a bit finer than the uh, Snake Bite. It's got more of a, a softer feel to it, um, but obviously it's still got that nice coating. It's actually got 20 different layers of coating on this one, as opposed to the uh, 15 on the previous ones. Uh, the inner braid's nice and soft and again a nice tight weave. Now this one's available in 15 and 25 pound and there's three different colours. So you've got a nice dark silk colour, a nice, Christ and call it gold, but it's a nice sort of brown tone. And then your green, which is the original Super Mantis. For real demanding situations, they produce a Quicksilver Gold. Now this is originally produced as a snag leader for you know places such as like Rainbow Lake or uh, the rivers or anywhere that you're faced with severe sort of underwater features. However, it's also been used as a, a coated hook link by many anglers um, in exactly those sort of situations. You know, big favourite for the rainbow anglers, this one. Um, so, yeah, it is ultra tough. It's only available in one colour, this is. Um, but, you know, a lot of the anglers that sort of fish in them sort of venues, you know, they're big fish that don't tend to worry too much about, you know, the colour of their hook link. Obviously, because it is designed for more demanding situations, it's been developed in a much higher breaking strain. So it starts off at 25 pound, then up to 35 pound, then up to this beefy 45 pound bad boy. A quick look at that. As you can see, it is a bit thicker, but if you're fishing for big fish in nasty situations, you're gonna want something like that. Now obviously over the years technology has developed and got better and this is their latest one, the Jackal. Using all modern technology they've managed to produce one that's a lot finer than any of the others um, and it's actually got more coatings as well, 30 layers of coating on this stuff. You know, it is a real long process to make these braids and once you've had a look at them you know you can see why, they really are top quality products. So this is the Jackal in the, uh, the silk, natural silk colour, again using my teeth. You should get yourself a little stripper tool, really, or I should get myself a little stripper tool, should I say. Now, the inner braid's nicely dyed, the same colour as the outer braid, and as I say, it is a lot finer, 
really nice and supple. You can obviously see the difference there. This is the stiffer section, that's the supple section, and obviously that's exactly what you generally want out of a uh, coated hook link. Okay, so once again, they've produced a jackal in a range of colours to suit all the uh, paranoid carp anglers that are out there these days. <laughs> Me being one of them. Uh, right, so you've got a nice green, a gravel brown, and that nice dark natural silt that seems to be a bit of a favourite with a lot of people these days. All of these coated braids from Christon have caught some serious fish over the years. In fact, various world records. If you take a look on their website, there's more information about that. But what I do know is that the first time this jackal was used, the guy caught the world record common on it. That'll do for me.